Hey guys, Adam Katz for Dog Trainer Toolbox as well as the Dog Trainer Marketing Group on Facebook. If you're not a member, sign up. It's absolutely free. It'll help grow your dog training business. Um, wanted to talk today a little bit about recurring billing business models, uh, business models that you can add to your current dog training business model to get more income. And the way that I see it, I've been thinking about this, there's really two types of recurring billing models that you can adopt. One is selling information, for example, a subscription site or a private members only site or a private Facebook site, for example, where people pay every month to continue access. The other is, um, the other is activity based, activity based being uh, you're taking them out once a week or once every two weeks, or once a month and doing something with them and their dog, typically as a group. So in this video, I'm going to talk about kind of both of those models. You know, if you follow, or if you read any of Jay Abraham's books, he talks about there being basically three ways to make more money with, with any business. So the first way would be get more dog training clients, which, uh, we help you do that with my company, Browning Direct. We run Google AdWords for dog training business owners to help them get more, more leads, more desperate dog owners looking to uh, hire a dog trainer. So that would be number one. Number two would be uh, signing the same amount of people that you currently sign, but charging more money. That's going to create more revenue. And the third way is to sell uh, without increasing the number of people that you're currently uh, getting into in the door. The third way is to sell them more stuff. And so the, the topic of this video, not just selling them more, more dog training programs, like advanced training programs, which they do and then eventually finish, but rather the idea of recurring billing where you get them to sign up for something. And as long as they're in that program, you continue to charge their card each and every month until they tell you to cancel. It's kind of like the, the gym business. So, like I mentioned, there's two aspects to recurring billing when it comes to the dog training business. The first one is setting up like a, a members only site or subscription based website or a, a private Facebook group where you charge them $10 or $20 or whatever it is every month to access that group. And this is basically an information marketing model. Now, I think it can work and it does work very well. If you're a dog training business owner, and you set up a group and basically the way it works is you, you give them a free month of access. You offer them a free month of access, uh, but they have to submit their credit card information in order to get that free month of access. And you typically sell them either right after you sell them on the dog training program or maybe the, at the end of the first, uh, the first lesson. And you get them in to your membership site and you offer them wh whatever you're going to offer them, videos or more training or uh, a platform where they can communicate with other dog trainers in your city or other clients, that type of thing. You need to create some value that you can offer them uh, that will be worth the 10 or $20 a month. Uh, you know, maybe it's, it's access to discounts through uh, other vendors in your area, veterinarians, groomers, whatever it may be. Um, a lot of you will be tempted with the idea, you know, there's so many internet marketers out there saying you can make big money uh, running a subscription website. And you're going to think to yourself, well, you know, I'm already selling dog training information. Why don't I just launch a subscription website while I'm also running my dog training business? Now, put this into context. I had a subscription website that we ran for years and years and ended up making over $6 million with it. Um, but in order for it to be successful, I had to employ a full-time Google AdWords guy, a site manager, also a customer service person. Now, granted, we were spending a lot of money on marketing and we were making a lot of money. But really, my, my life was at the time that of a full time Internet marketing guy. And you're going to have to ask yourself, you know, we can't serve two masters. Either we want to grow our dog training business or we want to be Internet marketers. So if you're thinking that you're going to put together a membership site and you're going to market it and you're going to run ads for it and you're going to grow it as a business, I would consciously advise you that the market has changed. It has become so competitive and the people who are doing that successfully, and I'm not talking about marketing to their own clients. I'm talking about marketing to the general public in general. Um, you know, these guys are internet marketing sharks and there's, there's really, there's no way you're going to compete with these guys and also run your dog training business, especially if you're still working in your business rather than working on your business. So my advice would be that if you like that model, that information model business, um, set it up, so that it's an upsell that you're offering to your current clients or as you get new clients, you offer them. So it's kind of a, um, a corollary uh, in addition 
to the service that you're currently offering them. Uh, that way you're not having uh, new client acquisition expenses and all, all kinds of other issues related to managing ad campaigns to sell uh, what's basically an info product and info service. Um, so that, that number one, the second business model, which I really kind of like better for the dog training uh, business model in general is the idea of like an adventure pet slash uh, doggy social type activity. So what this would look like, this would be something where, you know, maybe once a month or once every two weeks, uh, you or even once a week, maybe you offer an event where people can get together it might be a group class, but it might not be. I think there's uh, there's really a certain attraction attraction to offering something. Um, well, let me back up. We when we had our dog training business, we offered um, we offered uh, lifetime group classes. And what we found was that a lot of people, even after their dog was perfect, was completely trained, they'd keep coming every week to these group classes uh, because it was kind of their social event. It was their excuse to get out of the house. The problem with offering a lifetime group classes is that you get these people, you know, they get a dog when the dog's one years old. By the time the dog's 10 years old, they're still coming to the group classes because it's fun and it's something to do. Meanwhile, you're not making really any more money off them. So the way to do this would be to uh, monetize it. You know, if you're offering lifetime group classes, maybe only offer six months free or a year free and then uh, offer a package where they can continue coming for a fee. But what I like even better is having events where maybe, you know, you, you take everybody for like a what's called a pack walk. Everybody goes up into the hills on a trail and you, you take them for a one hour walk and you do that maybe once a week or once every two weeks and everybody gets to socialize. Another idea you could use is everybody goes out to uh, a predetermined outdoor cafe and sits around and has a glass of wine or a beer while their dogs are on downstays and they get the opportunity to socialize. Now, again, this is the reason most people, uh, you know, after their dogs have been pretty much trained, most people are coming just for the social aspect anyways. So why not give that to them? Give them an opportunity. And what I like about that business model is you can actually charge a lot more for that you know, sometimes 50 to $100 a month even for these these social networking type events. So, you know, it's not a completely uh, thought out idea at this point. I mean, I know I know there are different people who are using these concepts already and they're using them successfully, but you're going to have to kind of ask yourself, you know, what model fits best uh, with my current business and my current personality and the direction that I want to grow my business. However, once you set it up and once it's working, you're going to have a consistent stream of income. And it's the type of thing, you know, like in, in regard to like a doggy social type of events where you, you can you can put one on once a week and you can pay somebody, you know, 40 to $50, maybe even less, maybe 25 or $30 to lead that group, you know, to take everybody out to that cafe where everybody sits outside or to the, to the trail for the hike or whatever. You know, you don't have to pay them a lot of money and you can have somebody as long as they're diligent and reliable you know, running these activities for you, paying them very little while you're making quite a bit from each person. So it's a model that's great and it's particularly great as an upsell to what you're currently selling. Hey, I'm Adam Katz for dogtrainertoolbox.com as well as the Dog Trainer Marketing Group on Facebook. You know, if you've got a dog training business and you need more clients, you want more desperate dog owners calling you to sign up for training with you, get in touch with me through dogtrainertoolbox.com. We run Google AdWords for professional dog training business owners, getting amazing results, typically a five to 11 times return on investment if your systems are tight. Um, and if that sounds interesting to you, visit us at dogtrainertoolbox.com. Click on the box in the upper left-hand corner. You can read through a page which kind of describes what we're doing with Google AdWords and how we're doing it a little bit differently than most other Google AdWords managers are, are running campaigns. Uh, and then at the bottom of that page, there's a link you can click to get in touch with me and book a free consultation. Again, I'm Adam Katz for the DoctrineToolbox.com as well as the Marketing Group on Facebook. Take care, guys.